Well, check this out. A bizarre discovery in the dark depths of Monterey Bay. Marine scientists have found more than a thousand octopuses clinging to an underwater volcano. This is uh, an event that's never been seen before. Not this many deep water octopi brooding on eggs at this depth of water, 12,000 feet down. Wow. Well, the area 75 miles offshore is part of the marine sanctuary. Len Ramirez says what's interesting is what the creatures appear to be doing down there. Oh, there's, oh, some, there's eggs. some eggs. A lot of eggs. eggs. You can hear the excitement in the voices of the research team laying eyes for the first time on a vast deep water octopus nesting site. Thousands of the almost glowing creatures can be seen, including brooding females flipped upside down, guarding their eggs. Oh, yep, she has eggs. Oh, yeah. Is this enough octopus for you, Joe? The discovery was made by a team from the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. They were aboard a research vessel operating a remotely controlled underwater vehicle, which captured these images. This is uh, an event that's never been seen before. Not this many deep water octopi brooding on eggs at this depth of water, 12,000 feet down. The team was on a mission to explore the Davidson Seamount, a dormant underwater volcano about 75 miles west of Hearst Castle. The octopi seem to be nesting along fissures in the rocks, leading to speculation they might be getting extra warmth there. What's apparently happening there is you've got some warmer water seeping up um, out, of the, out of the substrate there, and that was not expected at all because this volcano has been dormant for some 9.8 million years. Oh, wow. What they do know is that females can sit on their eggs for four years before they hatch, so being in slightly warmer water might cut their brooding time or make their offspring more healthy. Wow, so cool to see that. The place where the researchers are exploring was recently added as a protected area, and because of its new status as a sanctuary, it will receive federal environmental protection. So good news there. You can hopefully see more, at least those researchers can, for years to come.